when we go to a doctor and, and get medicine, um, you get prescribed a certain amount. Kids would get prescribed a, a different amount because of their body size. That's not the same with fluoride. So no matter what your size is, you're getting everybody's getting the same amount. No, actually they're not. The, 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 the smaller <clears throat> one in society gets the most amount. A baby drinks its weight in water on formula every three to four days. Well, you figure it out. Mm. Water weighs eight pounds a gallon. Take eight, divide it into your weight, and that's how many gallons you'd have to drink every three days. That's an enormous amount of water. Mm. You don't drink that much water, but the baby takes all of its nutrition in in the form of water. So whenever you put anything in the water, the baby's gonna get overdosed. American Academy of Pediatrics, American Dental Association, nobody recommends that you dose an infant with fluoride, yet they are dosed with fluoride if you make up tap water formula. The, the Women, Infant, and Children program is supposed to protect children by teaching the mother how to feed them adequately. And we asked the WIC program if they were warning mothers to use distilled water, fluoride-free water, mm. to make up formula, and no, they're not. And so if you delve a little deeper and say, why aren't you? They said, oh, because it would be damaging to the fluoridation program. So you're not going to tell the mother the truth so you can protect another bureaucrat. I think I can balance the budget. I think that program needs mm. to go away, lying to mothers.